guys! So this video is going to be a massive, well not massive, this video is going to be a beauty and makeup haul and I know I'm wearing the same thing as I was in my Primark haul video but I'm filming these one after the other because I'm on a roll today. So as I mentioned in my other haul I actually did some beauty shopping as well, I picked up some stuff from Primark and Superdrug so I thought I would show you guys what I got. So the first place I went to was Primark like I just said. The first thing I got was some of their liquid lipsticks and I just got a red colour, uh, they don't have names on them. I got a red colour, um, I got a baby pink colour and I also got a nude which is actually what I'm wearing on my lips now. And I've been wanting to try these liquid lipsticks for ages. I did actually think they were going to be matte um, but they're actually glossy which it's quite disappointing because, I don't know, I really like my matte lips and I just assumed that because they were a liquid lipstick they would be matte but I was wrong but they're still really nice and they have great colour pigmentation and yeah I just thought I'd pick these up for £2 each. I also got this new lip liner and I saw this and I think it was only like £1 or £1.50 or something and I saw this and I thought why not try it out, like I haven't tried any of the Primark lip liners before and I hadn't seen it in my local one. Um, but I saw this in the Primark in Westfield and I was super excited that there was beauty products so I went a bit crazy and yeah, well I picked up this as well. Yeah, so this was £1 and it's just a really pretty nude colour. The next thing I got is the Volumizing Mascara and this was only £1 and I was interested to try it out. Um, but I only just noticed that I accidentally bought it in brown which is a shame because... I like wearing black mascaras but I don't know, I'll still give it a try and I actually bought this because I'm going to be doing the £10 makeup challenge so I thought this mascara was only £1 so I thought I would give it a go and try it out. I then just got another one of my favourite lip balms which I mentioned in my first ever Primark haul I believe and I ended up really liking the lip balm, um, it's just the Shea Butter Lip Balm and it's called the Softy Balm, it looks kind of like the EOS and Balmy lip balms uh, but this is only £2 and it's a little blue hexagon thing, they also do it in a strawberry flavour but I really like the Shea Butter one, it's so moisturising and I just thought I'd pick up a backup. So the next thing I got is kind of silly, it's a little apple lip balm, well I thought it was a lip balm, it says on it apple scented lip gloss and I thought it was going to be the same as the lip balm I just showed you but it's actually not at all, this was only £1 and so it's just a little apple and um, it's quite cute but when I opened it it's actually like a glittery kind of lip balm thing um, so I don't think I'll be using this but it does smell quite nice I mean I don't know it doesn't really smell that much of apples to be honest but I mean it smells alright uh, but yeah I don't think I'll be using this I might just have it sitting on my desk because it is still quite cute yeah I should probably read things before I put them in my basket so next I went to Superdrug which is one of my favourite places in the world and the first thing I got is by MUA and it's just their gel eyeliner, uh, this is in the colour underground and it's basically just a black gel eyeliner. This was £3 and it's got a little, ooh, it's got a little brush in it which is not bad. Um, and yeah, I've actually tried this out a couple of times, I really like this eyeliner and I've been wanting to try out a gel liner for ages and I'd heard quite good things about the MUA one, it's super cheap and yeah, I just thought I'd give it a go and it turns out I actually really like it. Another thing I got from MUA is one of their lipsticks and this is in the shade Nectar. It's not really what I thought it was going to be because stupidly there was no swatches left of like any of the colours because I guess people had stolen them or whatever but it's just a bright kind of corally pink shade and it does look a bit crazy on the lips, not gonna lie but it was only £1 and yeah I just thought that I would give it a try so I haven't wasted that much money but I don't know I might I probably will wear it in the summer at some point it will probably look a lot nicer with a tan so another thing I got from MUA is just one of their press paid press powders press powders in the shade number one and I got this because it was a pound and like I said before I'm doing the £10 makeup challenge so I had to get a cheap uh, powder to go with that so that's the only reason I picked this up. I'm not expecting amazing things from it but I'll give it a try. So I also got one of their blushes and this is in the shade Bubblegum. Uh, it's just a pretty pink blush colour and again this was only £1. And then another thing I got is this blue eyeliner and 
I wanted to try out some more colourful eyeliners because as it's approaching summer um, and kind of festival season and things, I thought that this might be quite good to do some festival makeup and just something a bit more bright and colourful for the hotter months. Uh, so yeah, I just got this eyeliner. It was only £1 and I don't know, yeah, it's in the shade turquoise. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd give that a go. Uh, it's just got a little sharpener on the end which is also quite handy and I like a lot of the other MUA eyeliners so I thought I'd get this bright one as well. Another thing I got from MUA which was, I think this was either 3 or £4, I'm really sorry I can't remember but um, I'll leave it in the description box below but I got this highlighter and this is the Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter and it's absolutely gorgeous, I've been wanting this for ages, um, I know Becca Rose talks about it quite a lot and I'd always seen it on her and she always looks amazing so I thought I had to get it myself. Um, this one is the colour, it doesn't say, <laughs> okay I don't know if I'm stupid but this just says shimmer highlighter on it, I can't seem to find a name but it's the kind of pinky one and it's got a really pretty pattern on it which I thought was really nice. I know you're not supposed to just buy stuff because it looks pretty but that's another bonus. Um, so yeah I just got this highlighter which I thought was really nice. So this is one of the sleek blushes and I've been wanting to get this for absolutely ages. It's in the shade rose gold and this is supposedly a dupe for NARS orgasm I think. This shade is so pretty. I love the sleek packaging as well, like matte black. So it's just a really pretty kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a pinky coral shade with gold shimmers in it and it's not like chunky gold glitter or anything, it's just such a lovely shimmery shade and I just thought with summer coming up, why not get a really pretty blush? So that is that. So the next thing actually isn't from Superdrug, I actually got this in Asda and this was £5, it's the Maybelline Dream Flawless Nude Fluid Touch Foundation. I just really wanted to try this foundation, um, I got mine in the shade 10 Ivory and I believe this is the paler shade, it's actually a bit too dark for me, um, I'm wearing it on my skin now um, but I do quite like this foundation and this was only £5 in Asda. Another foundation I got which I cannot wait to try is this L'Oreal foundation, it's called the Infallible, 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 in something, 24 hour matte foundation and I've heard such good things about this and having oily skin the idea of a matte foundation really appeals to me, uh, it's got medium coverage I believe and I've seen Lily Malroy's talk about this um, and I got mine in the shade porcelain um, so I really cannot wait to try this out and I might do a first impressions on this if you guys want me to then leave it in the comments below. So the final thing I got in Superdrug is this makeup brush cleanser and I've never tried a brush cleanser before and this was only 4 dollars so I thought I would give it a whirl. Um, it's by the brand B. I'm not sure if that's actually the brand. Yeah, well it's just got a B on it. <laughs> um, and it says makeup brush cleanser, cleans and conditions all types of makeup brushes. And yeah, I just thought I would try this out because I normally just use shampoo to wash my brushes. But I thought that a spray would be so much easier to just kind of wash it in between um, using my brushes and like for eyeshadow brushes and things like that. And being in a spray bottle is so much easier to use. So at £5, I thought I would give this a go. So that is everything in my beauty haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm super excited to try all of these products. So I'm sure you'll see some of them in future videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.